The F-City Police Command says it has seized about 14 transport vehicles belonging to persons caught flooding the lockdown directive by President Muhammad Buhari. The FCT Police Commissioner Bala Tairuma said the ban on night travels will continue to be enforced as those flouting the directive are putting thousands of Nigerians at risk. Our correspondent Amadine Uye reports. In a bid to enforce the lockdown order of President Mohamed Buhari and the ban on interstate travels by transporters to and from the two states of Lagos and Ogun, including the federal capital Abuja, the FCT Police Command says it has commenced the enforcement of the ban on night travels. The Police Commissioner Balachi Roma had this no holds barred meeting in Abuja with transporters and chairmen of parks across the FCT read the riot act over what he termed unlawful conduct. It has been observed that some of your members observed the day lockdown in the day. But in the night time, they don't have Mr. Chiroma warned that there will be consequences if transporters engaged in night travels continue to disobey the federal government's directive, saying it goes against the efforts aimed at containing the coronavirus pandemic. Nobody should be seen to be sabotaging the lockdown. Now, let's say, where are you, my friends? Go. Yes, we are. We are partners in progress. For this one, there is no brother in it. I'm calling and saying, look, I want you now. If this rubbish is not stopped by a few numbers, perpetrated by a few, a few numbers, then we'll come to the thing where we say we will seal up the park completely. We are part of the people that will help us break the chain of the transmission. For example, Bombay yesterday, some people traveled from Lagos to Bombay. They were immediately quarantined. Five of them tested positive. If to say they don't travel from that Lagos, they allow the Lagos government to isolate them, Bombay would have been free. But they travel. The same thing Kano, the same thing other places. Traveling, lying the course. We are not aware that there is somewhere as a great path where they are loading maybe in the night or in the midnight. If you go to our park now, all the gate is locked. All the, our park force people, they are there working 24 hours. But the problem we have is that uh, we don't have the pass. We don't move from our house to go and check what is happening in the park. And we say if we come here for this meeting, we will beg you, if there is any way they can give pass to all the chairmen, let them go around every minute of the day. Those places they are saying they create a new park, which we don't know. We have to trace them out and we will report to police for them to help us to arrest them. After receiving assurances from the transporters and the chairman of the several transport parks spread across the federal capital, the FCT police commissioner assured that they will be given every necessary support to contain the coronavirus pandemic. Me and you have a responsibility to ensure we start to manage and save humanity. We'll give you policemen to operate on all the members of your task force to ensure we put a stop to these unwanted night journeys. He says already 14 interstate vehicles have already been seized and will only be released after the lockdown directive. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa.